and violent. Troublesome and violent. From out of control parties to drug busts, Armadale hasn't always had the best reputation, but now locals are fighting back, defending their name and their town. Here's Cassie Silver. There's no doubt that there is a, a domestic violence problem in Armadale. I actually got into a scuffle with two other people and I got stabbed in the neck and screwed out over it. Don't think it's safe, not one bit. These are the images that put Armadale on the map for all the wrong reasons. Out of control parties, vandalism and alcohol fueled violence. There are many more good things than there are bad things in Armadale. Member for Armadale, Tony Booty, says he's tired of the bashing his suburb cops. One, it's a long way from the city, which it isn't, it's about 35 minutes. And that um, it's got a lot of so-called bogans and there's a high crime rate and um, it's unsafe and under. And it's all untrue. Well, the message I would say to people that are watching the program is come out to Armadale, spend a day here. So we did. Tony invited our Today Tonight cameras on a 24-hour tour, warts and all. Well, I won't be surprised, but others might be surprised by what we see. I love the place. I think it's a great place to live. Certainly a great place to bring up your kids. And it's and it's just a great place for lots of activity and entertainment. Mayor of Armadale, Henry Zalone, says he too is disappointed with their shocking reputation. I get infuriated by the uh, by the terminology that they use. And the fact of it is, is that they don't ever quantify it. They never spoke to me about it why I think it uh, is good or bad or indifferent, but they just throw it out there. If you speak to anybody on the street here that lives here, they will tell you the exact opposite. What do you think about Armadale? It's a very active community, a very close community. Uh, the infrastructure is very good, and um, there are lots of things to do in the area. Armadale, I think it's going downhill majorly. I really do. Um, there's a lot of people doing this, uh, what you call Sudafed tablets and baking drugs with them. I think it's really got a lot of potential now. It's, it's, it's pretty much the gateway to the southwest. The town boasts beautiful gardens and picnic areas, and Champion Lakes, an international facility for rowing and kayaking. With the grandkids now, I like to come twice a week, and that's oh, definitely. Because the beach is nice, the water's clear, I've come more often. It's a great place. We're having a really great time and we feel it's really perfect for, for what we need to achieve. Filmmakers Denson Baker and his wife Claire McCarthy are scouting locations to film Tim Winton's classic The Turning, which will put Armadale on the big screen. We plan to do a number of sequences here on uh, Champion Lakes and in the city of Armadale where we're shooting the whole film. Its setting is perfect for what the story is, so it has a great look. But as the sun goes down, so do the expectations of a quiet night. I live in Alabama. At least we're famous for sun. It's Friday night at the local skate park, but here there's no alcohol, no smoking, and no drugs allowed. This program here gives us a great opportunity to be in their place, on their territory, and on, on their uh, rules, if you like, um, and engage with the young people. Denise Hardy works for Drug Arm, a 20-year-old organisation providing drug education and awareness. They know where to go if they're in trouble, if they need a bit of help, they need a bit of assistance, if they need a referring on to another service, we can help, help uh, streamline that service for them. Teens gather to skate, socialise and have a sausage sizzle. Some of these kids haven't eaten all day. The kids actually build up a really good relationship with the youth workers, we're all on first name basis. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just great. We actually enjoy being here. It's great. What have the kids done? Oh, they're just hanging around. We'll give them some place to hang. Tamara Burt knows all too well about Armadale's problems. There was a lot of bad kids running around. Everyone was fighting with everyone. Studying to be a social worker, Tamara says support and encouragement, not criticism, is needed. Once you see some people trying to make a difference in a bad area, you just want to jump in on that. You want to be part of the change. Most of the kids that are here on Friday night are here every Friday night without fail. Along for the ride is pro BMX rider Kim Bloodson, otherwise known as Blood. We come down every Friday night to try and teach some of the Armadale youth a bit of park etiquette, uh, get some of the kids using the local facilities and get a nice safe environment for families and kids to come here and hang out. For me and most of my friends, I'd say riding saved my life and their lives. Like, it, 
riding or skating, it just keeps you out of trouble. It keeps you off the streets, it keeps you away from cars, it keeps you away from the bad things in life. And generally riders and skaters are very happy people because they're doing what they want. So it breeds positivity in the kids. So you get right. bad people where, anywhere you go, so there's break-ins everywhere, cars get stolen in every suburb. The Armadale line, the Armadale train line has a bad name, but uh, nearly all the crime that's happened on the Armadale line has happened further towards the city. Uh, places like Cannington, Burswood, uh, Oak Street and Beckham. Very little of the trouble actually happens at the Armadale train station. We took a trip to the Armadale train station late Friday night. There were no disruptions and more transit guards than passengers. I think I have a lot more concern than walking around Northridge than I would at Armadale on a Friday night. Chance, it's not as bad as it seems. It's not like the ghetto. It's no worse in Armadale than other areas. Cassie Silver there. Now rising.